I'm here at the Royal Montreal Curling Club in Montreal, Quebec, and today I'm going to be discussing the Clutch Curling app and its four key performance indicators that it tracks. It will track your split times, your backline to hogline split time, your hogline to hogline split time. It'll track whether or not you're uh, veering off your line of delivery. It will track how many rotations you're putting on the stone, your angular velocity, and it uh, will also track whether or not you're pushing or pulling the stone. The Royal Montreal Curling Club has a full club license for all of its members, so all of its members will have access to this app uh, for free. But a lot of clubs, clubs do just have the software installed on their stones, so you can purchase an individual membership. All that a club needs to do is purchase the hardware, the Bluetooth chips to install in their stones, which is a simple application. You just take the top off the stone and then put the chip on, screw it in, and uh, set it up and you're good to go. So having said that, let's get into the hack and I'll show you how to register your stones. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is download and install the application onto your phone. I have links for that in the description below for both iOS and Android. And after the app is installed on your phone, you want to register your stones, the stones that you're gonna be practicing with or playing with. So you will open the app and you will select which sheet that you're gonna be playing on you will then select the stones that you want to register and to register them into your application for your session, you just want to turn the stone up as if you're cleaning it. You'll see the stone pop up onto your app and then you can put the stone down and then do that for each stone that you want to register for that session. Then you'll be able to see all of the stones and you'll need to select them at that point to highlight them and then you'll select start session. Okay, after you've started the session, we'll want to get into the hack and start throwing some stones. So I'm in the hack and I'm going to throw the stone. In order to make sure that the stone is registered for this particular throw, we need to clean the stone. So we will turn the stone up, just like we did to register it to begin with, clean the stone. If you have your audio off, you'll feel a vibration in your pocket. Um, if you have your audio on, you can hear the stone actually say that it is registered, or the app actually say that it is registered. So if you can, you can also wear earbuds if you just wanna hear it uh, without bothering anyone else, if you're in a game, for example. So there are a lot of options for this app that I'm going to discuss in a narration at the end of this uh, video. So uh, as the app updates, I'll be able to, to just update that narration over the app images and let you know um, how the app is functioning and its functionality. Okay, so you've just completed your session and you want to review a session. So you open the app, click review session, and you will see your activity with a calendar. You can see I had a couple sessions there on two different dates. I'll select the 26th of October, which had three sessions. I can then switch between the game analysis. I'm now on three of three and take a look at the various metrics. I'll go back to two of three for that day. I had, for example, on this one, I had 10 with clockwise uh, rotation, two with counterclockwise. Uh, we'll show you your drift, whether or not you're adding or pulling the stone. Um, how many stones for each of those so various metrics it'll give you so then I'll dig in a little bit deeper for this one and Review the shots you can see any shots that I may have starred on the left, which I did not for this day It'll show you the shot the stone the time and your split time there, so We'll go go in and take a look at shot one You can see it'll show you your back to hog your hog to hog right there front and center is the split time um, then I can select the rotation. I can see that I had a projected rotation of 3.5 revolutions. The angular velocity, which is 85 degrees, that's how uh, much it turned within one second. Um, but ultimately it just calculates how many rev uh, revolutions that you're your stone is going to turn from hog to hog. So then I'm on shot three, um, taking a look at the metrics here, the split times, and I'm going to dig into that split time. You can see I had an add impact of 0.22 seconds, 0.16 seconds, and it'll show you your true split time. So it looks like maybe I was uh, pushing a little bit on that one. Um, again, the rotation. Now I'm going to look at the line of delivery. You can see that I deviated seven millimeters to the right um, after I crossed the back hog line. After my initial push, I deviated just a little bit to the right and then continued straight seven millimeters to the right of my initial push off on my line of delivery. And here I'm going to look at the account profile by clicking the little man at the top left or woman. 
Um, and I'll look at the audio settings. And again, if you're wearing headphones or earbuds, you can select which metrics you want to hear as you're delivering the stone or after the stone and after the stone crosses the far hog line. And you can just turn those on or off here. And you can look at your account details to see what kind of account that you have set up. And that's it. So I hope you can see how this application can be very useful in your practices and your gameplay. And good curling.